In the face of altering global energy patterns, the Philippines has rekindled its interest in nuclear power as an alternate source of energy. And the framework is there already and we have saved everybody five to six years. Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte signed an executive order on February 28th in 2022 to adopt nuclear energy as the country prepares to phase out coal-fired power plants. Is there a future for nuclear power in the Philippines? In response to an increased energy demand and natural gas resource depletion, this is a crucial step for the country. The decree demonstrates the Philippines' commitment to uphold the greatest levels of nuclear safety, security and safeguards while also ensuring the peaceful use of nuclear energy. Previous attempts to pursue nuclear energy in the Philippines have been discontinued because of safety concerns, but the latest idea is based on a proposal to resurrect the BNPP, which was built in response to an energy crisis during the dictator Ferdinand Marcos' reign. I tell you uh, this, that um, we never spent uh, government funds for our... The Philippines spent $2.3 billion on a 621 MWE, Westinghouse pressurized water reactor at Bataan during Ferdinand Marcos's administration. It was finished in 1984, but due to claims of financial irregularities and safety concerns, it was never fueled or commissioned. In 2018, the International Atomic Energy Agency assessed the Philippines' progress on nuclear infrastructure development using criteria from Phase 1 of the IAEA's milestone approach. After this review, Duterte signed Executive Order No. 116 in July 2020, establishing an interagency group to examine and appraise the need for and viability of nuclear power in the energy mix. The Department of Energy headed the Nuclear Energy Program Interagency Committee, which was tasked with considering the economic, security and environmental ramifications. As well as public and stakeholder participation, the group was also given the task of reviewing the current legal framework and researching nuclear energy's potential. Adopting a national position is a crucial initial step in launching a nuclear power program, as it serves as the framework for the program's future development and implementation. Most importantly, a national viewpoint explains why nuclear power was chosen, while taking into account the results of long-term energy planning and national priorities such as energy security, climate change actions such as greenhouse gas reductions, and economic development. It is worth noting that electricity in the Philippines is among one of the most costly in Asia. Power consumes more than 10% of the average Filipino family's monthly income. As a result, the concept of inexpensive energy has gained widespread acceptance. Given the country's archipelagic characteristics, the Philippines is contemplating sophisticated small modular reactors from the United States, South Korea and Russia, including floating SMRs. Nuclear energy is thus viewed as a long-term energy solution by the Philippines Department of Energy. By 2040, the Philippines' renewable energy consumption is expected to grow at a rate of 4.4% per year, necessitating the development of 65 gigawatts of capacity. This recent order might prove to be a watershed moment for an economy plagued by seasonal power disruptions and high electricity rates. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please share and leave a comment. We love reading your feedback and don't forget to subscribe.